Uh, the interesting thing about this photograph is that it was taken in July of 1965 at that famous moment when Dylan went electric at uh, the Newport Jazz, uh, Newport Folk Festival. Uh, he's in the first eight bars of Maggie's Farm, accompanied by Electra's Butterfield Blues Band, or at least part of it. And he gets about halfway through the song and the boos start. And the boos are from people who are uncomfortable with Dylan going electric, which meant going commercial to them. I don't know why they thought that that was the equation. But he was going commercial, he was leading his folk roots. More importantly, he was no longer the spokesperson for his generation. Uh, but it was really about growth and transition and respect for the artist that I think they should have had to let them see where he was going to go. For me, it was a profoundly moving moment. Uh, I had been struggling with electric music as well. We had, we had already recorded the Butterfield Blues Band. It required techniques and, and approaches that we needed to learn and we needed to learn fast. Because what, what you saw that evening and what you felt even more importantly was the energy that came out of Dylan at that moment. And then cut to just months later and he writes like a Rolling Stone in one day and he cuts it in the studio in one session and a lot of people come in and play. Magic moments that change the trajectory of music. For me it said, wow, you could boogie and you could think at the same time because here were really intelligent lyrics. Maggie's Farm lyrics are, are, are rooted in traditional music. Uh, and he's taking it, now he's doing something with it. This is exactly the point that Lauren Schlesig makes about taking influence and materials from the past uh, and being able to use them in a new form, give them new life, regenerate expectations, above all, regenerate excitement, because it's all about excitement, and it always comes down to great singers and great songs, and Dylan is special.